All right, so we got Fortnite Chapter 6, everything we know. Let's get to the video, man. Let's go. And live event will take us into Chapter 6, and from the permanent return of OG to the biggest collab in this game's history. I'm sorry, just to pause it. I know we're 10 seconds in, but bro, Fortnite OG is coming back, and it's permanent. Oh my goodness gracious, I cannot wait. All right, let's go. My man, sorry about that. Everything we know. December 1st is the official start date, and usually the first season always feels super long, but not this True. time. On February 21st, we'll head into season two, giving us just 10 weeks of the upcoming samurai theme. That's right, oh. the whole map is gonna be based on Japanese mythology, taking us back to traditional Japan with Masamune blades, samurai bosses, and temples. Okay. This is like Mega from chapter I like that. four that was futuristic. Instead, I love the that. show us exactly what the vibe is gonna be, and I cannot wait. There's gonna be tons of bosses on the map for us to fight. Okay. And I'm wondering if we might be able to duel them with the new mythic blades. Very Ooh. interested to see how these will differ from the kinetic katanas we already have. Bro, those katanas, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like the katanas, the lightsabers, bro. Any like sword that we use in like Fortnite, bro, has been absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, there won't be cyberpunk theme. What we Obviously. do know is that there will be a massive forest region on the map that will be affected by the time of day. Let me explain. Okay. This will be the first location in Battle Royale history to change at nighttime. By that, I mean in the day, there will be different animals and NPCs roaming around compared okay. to the evening. Which is pretty cool. It makes you wonder if the entire map will have a new time mechanic. Okay, fact, we'll see. Some of these creatures roaming around the jungle won't be the wildlife oh, we're used no. to. Chapter 6 is finally giving us some new animals like sprites. These are cat-like spirits that'll wander the map. And we'll oh. be able to find different types like water, air, and of course, just basic ones. Okay. They all have unique voice lines and are related to shrines on the island. I'm guessing we'll have to guide these spirits back to their temple before they say goodbye. Actually, kind of sad when you think about it. If uh. I had to guess, I think these sprites will look more like foxes or kitsunes than cats so, so are they like like little uh like pokemons i'm guessing that's that's what i'm guessing that's not all leakers have revealed the wetlands biome has deer sounds which could mean these guys will be roaming hey the fortnite the leakers bro they know everything the return of one of the best features of 2024 medallions these oh, are so like important gun. to the success of chapter five so it's no wonder they're coming back next season and it looks like they're going to be massively changed instead of being one of the most sought after items on the map we're gonna see a smaller set of medallions that are as game changing minor medallions it makes sense when okay. you learn that epic is bringing back a canceled feature reality what? augments are making a surprise return yo but according to leakers they're gonna work differently to how we remember them i guess the past year of experimenting behind the scenes has been successful as they're finally reviving it yo. so you're probably wondering what other kinds of places we'll explore in chapter six and well despite the fact we know the theme it doesn't mean the yeah. whole map will be traditional leakers have already revealed that the island will have an industrial town poi which feels a little out of character so i mean but like, but, that, but that's just Fortnite though. Like, not everything's gonna be traditional, especially to like a theme or whatever. But you, you, you want to have like a little twist to it because at the end of the day, I mean, even though you do have a theme to something, and especially if it's a video game, you still want to like you know switch it up a little bit, especially like again if it's a theme, which might be like a little outlandish or whatever. But to, to a lot of people, they won't really care, and I don't care either. Maybe this is an area that'll expand as the season goes on, taking us into our next theme. Only time will tell, but we also know that there's another POI hiding in the files as we speak. It's called a trophy room, and that's all that's confirmed okay. for now. I trophy just gotta room? say, the last time we had one of those, it was full of dead superheroes, so I'll take anything less dark than that. All right, we'll, yes, we'll take it. Things can get a whole lot darker. There's a way to send people into the void in Chapter 6. Wait, what? So two upcoming reality augments will give you a void shield and a new version of the junk rift, which will probably summon items from this void to wipe out all of our enemies. So are we getting some kind of alternate dimension that can attack players? If so, dark but incredible. But fans are most excited for something totally different. Fortnite has officially made the announcement. This is not a drill. OG is coming back. Yes, sir. Relive Battle Royale from the start and explore the OG map. And it's like permanent. OG loot and it's and permanent. Let's OG go. Seasons. Yeah, that's plural. And it's all going down on December 6th. We're starting from the very first season with the most original map you could get. And over time, Epic will update the OG every single island of Chapter 1. That means we'll get the return of classics like Neo Tilted, Season X, Let's the go. Volcano, all of it. Now we just got to hope they replay the live events too. Speak Bro, if we can get the Travis Scott live event, I'm going to be honest. Because that's my favorite live event of all time. It's the Travis, uh, Travis Scott live event, the Marshmallow uh, live event. That was really good as well. Uh, I believe that, that Eminem live event was pretty cool. But, uh, bro, that Travis Scott um fortnite live event was was like one of the best things like in gaming i'm gonna be honest with you it was fire you know, we don't have 
have to wait long for our next one. It always sucks that we have to wait a whole year for a true live event, but luckily that time has come around again. The Chapter 5 finale will take us straight into the next season with a little downtime in the middle. But as for what to expect, uh -oh. this will be a fully fledged concert, something we haven't got to experience since Ariana Grande in Chapter 2. It's been a really long time, and it'll feature all the rappers from Remix, most importantly, Juice World, who is going to lead us into the new Yo, chapter. We got a Juice Here's World concert coming through. Introduced to the new first person mechanic. This is gonna be one of the biggest changes to Battle Royale in years, as Epic finally implemented, and honestly, it's the longest way to feature ever. Now, I don't need to tell you what first person is gonna look like, Duh. because players are already getting an early look in creative mode, and all those maps can be officially I've published never on played, December 11. I've never played, like, Fortnite ever, and, like, bro, I haven't played Fortnite, first of all, in, like, three months. I'm gonna be honest with you. Even though my gaming system is right under me, whatever, I still haven't played Fortnite in a while. I gotta play Fortnite. But here's the thing, though. I'll probably get right back on Fortnite whenever, like, the uh, like the OG uh, Mac, Mac come back, which is, like, what, uh, next month. So I'm really excited about that. But, um... But bro, listen, the whole, like, first-person Fortnite thing, I think a lot of people were really, like, focused on that, like, I would say, like, a year or two ago, uh, whenever, like, you know, Fortnite put in, like, like, like the whole no build, and they were, like, dropping a bunch of these, like, updates, stuff like that. And to be honest with you, like, the whole first-person Fortnite thing, I mean, well, for me, it seems cool or whatever, but I, I would definitely rather play, like, the third person, just regular Fortnite. And maybe that's just me, but I, I would try it out, but I definitely prefer, like, the third person. One day before that, we'll get the first update of Chapter 6, and it'll bring our Christmas. yearly tradition for the holidays. Winterfest is coming back. Well, there are rumors that not only will we get the usual festive event for BR, but OG will give us the return of 14 days of Fortnite, the oh, very snap. first version of Winterfest all the way back from 2018. So as we look Yo. beyond towards newer items, Chapter 6 is giving us the resurrection of a chaotic weapon. The quad launcher was always a pretty strange item. Can I be honest with you? I've never used a quad launcher before. I've seen like, I think, who did I see use the quad launcher? I don't think it was a Nick 30 I don't know. Or was it Courage? Bro, I, bro. first of all, you know, shout out to Courage, shout out to Nick A30. But, bro, who did I see? Was it Ali A? Huh, who was it? I, bro, I, listen, I follow so many, like, you know, Fortnite YouTubers and streamers, bro. Um, and, and so, listen, it, it's my bad if I forget. But other than that, man, shout out to all those guys that I just mentioned. People either loved it or never picked it up. I don't now, think I've ever used it before. files for an updated version, comparing it side yeah, by side. Yeah, I've never used that model, before. You can definitely see they are upgrading the graphics in time for a new chapter. Let's think about this for a second. Imagine if this was moddable too. I just wonder how ridiculous first person is going to look with it. But that is nothing compared to the huge update that'll change the way you move sliding. in Fortnite. Of course, with the new chapter comes new movement. And this time around, we're going to be swinging like spider-man they're adding items like chandeliers around the map we could grab onto and swing with which is gonna Wait, be insane what? for zero build players that's not all we'll be able to repel up and down ropes so i'm expecting some pretty big cliffs and mountains that zero build players need this for oh my god thank you lord so we're gonna put they're gonna be putting like um like little um like the uh like little clip thing Ooh, bro what is it called my god bro i can't even learn english right now with like big tall mountains and stuff like that. One thing, and I and maybe I just didn't like want to say this, you know, because I don't want to be looked at as a rookie or whatever. But like whenever uh, I first like started playing Fortnite or whatever, bro, and how like you would have to like rotate to get into the circle and stuff like that, bro. These big mountains and stuff like that, bro. I was wishing, I was praying that we had like these rip things. Obviously, whenever you go on like a little uh, like little rope thing that goes all the way up, that shoots all the way up, that shoots you all the way up, or whatever. I was hoping that we had those on, like, every single mountain. Obviously, like, you know, we should probably, like, you know, make our decisions better and, like, get up there before, like, the circle started moving or whatever. But that's just me being, like, a bad uh, Battle Royale player. But thank you, Lord, bro. We're actually finally getting, like, these little rope things. Rope little, lift little thing. What is it called? Oh, rope rappling. We're finally going to get those on, like, every, not on every single mountain. But I did hear that they're going to be uh, putting them on, like, a lot of mountains and stuff like that. And then with the movement, oh, man, listen, we all know. And I'm I'm going to play a video. I'm sorry I'm yapping a little bit. But listen, with the whole, like, movement mechanics and stuff like that, bro, the sliding, the movement, this whole, like, uh, like what was it, zero building on Fortnite has changed for the better. I was about to say the worst, but then I thought about it. I was like, you know what, bro? It's more mechanics for me to learn. It's not That's not necessarily, like, a bad thing or whatever. But, bro, listen, I haven't touched Fortnite in, like, three months man, I've been seeing Nick 830, I've been seeing Curse JD, I've been seeing all these Fortnite players go absolutely insane in the no-build. Oh, my goodness gracious, bro. The movement has 
the movement has legit broken my brain and I can't even like, I legit cannot even like, I can keep up, bro, but it just keep advancing and it just keep going. Like I can't, bro, bro there's going to be a day to where, bro, I tie the sneakers up, bro, and I hang up my jersey. I can't do this anymore. Up and down ropes, so I'm expecting some pretty big I got to tie I, I, I got to tie the, 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 it the sneakers up, bro. It might help us the trees in the new forest area, or you can probably jump up there with the upcoming wall running mechanic. Wait, Depending what? On your speed, yeah, you can run across tons of gaps. Bro, wall running like Black Ops 3. One of the most toxic additions is coming with a prone button. This is going to turn the game into a sniper's battleground. But some people think it'll be exclusive to the open world mode. I'll get into what that is later in the video. For Wait, now, we look forward to some insane Woo! crossovers, especially vehicles. Recently, we've been getting a ton of cars like the Porsche GT3 RS yes, and the sir. McLaren Senna. But now it's time for motorsports. And that's where uh -oh. NASCAR comes in. Thanks Yo. to Elite Deployee Post, we know licensed vehicles. Bro, listen, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. First of all, shout out to all the Fortnite leakers out there. Brothers, listen, they getting paid. They doing their job. They doing what they... Listen, listen, you provide us information. I respect it. NASCAR and Fortnite is absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, if you guys don't know, uh, Fortnite, well, Epic Games actually owns Rocket League now. So, of course, you know, um, them having a bunch of, like, you know, Rocket League cards in the game, stuff like that. Obviously, we knew that we were going to collaborate on that end. Um, and, you know, obviously Epic Games owns, um, who else, Fall Guys. So, you know, Fall Guys had their thing with Fortnite. Um, I mean, it's only like, you know, it's only smart for you to like incorporate your brands and stuff like that. So, uh, bro, the fact that we're actually going to collaborate, the fact that Fortnite is going to collaborate with NASCAR, bro. Oh, my good, bro. We can have a Jeff Gordon skin. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, you know, it's mainly going to be about, like, the cars and stuff like that. But that would be crazy if you had, like, a like a Jeff Gordon skin. That would be crazy. Vehicles are just around the corner. Maybe you prefer original vehicles. Luckily, you'll be able to get a mini battle bus soon. Ooh. This is already out in Rocket League. And will, of course, port over for free to Fortnite as an SUV. But I'm most excited for the best vehicle collab of all. Cars. By that, I mean Pixar cars. Because Lightning McQueen and Mayor Light are officially coming to... Okay. All right. I'm going to be honest. Hey, 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 hey. That is fire. We got Lightning McQueen coming to Fort. Okay, that's crazy. Fortnite that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. It will be the strangest thing to drive around in, considering they're, you know, alive. Not sure the implications Yo. of that. But I do know it's going to look so derpy when Vehicle Royale comes to Chapter 6. And, bro, the Fort, bro, the Fortnite racing. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I'm going to have to hop on Fortnite today, bro. I might have to uh, download the update and everything, bro. Yeah, it might be that time. It might be that time. I might have to. It is an actual mode Epic's developing, so if you love the Wasteland season, you're going to be obsessed with this It one. might be time. The title, it is vehicles only. For now, it's for duos, where one player takes the wheel and the other controls the weapons. Just like Wrecked, it'll feature all the classic upgrades, from vehicle attachments to nitro and flaming hoops. And that's not all. They're introducing extra vehicle mods for this mode, letting you shoot enemies with lasers and rockets. Not the only LTM to shake up the meta in Chapter 6. While Vehicle Royale might be a permanent addition, this next one is going to be very very temporary. Fortnite is working on a game where we'll fight each other with melee weapons. Oh, from okay. Sights to kinetic blades and shockwave hammers. I'm sitting here wondering. I'm surprised they haven't done that yet. Sooner. Now there's a collab no one was expecting. Uh -oh. The Marvel season is already over, but that doesn't mean they're done. Turns out Epic is taking part in a crossover with Marvel Rivals. Anyone who plays that game might be able to get Fortnite themed outfits for their favorite superheroes. It'll be wow, hilarious, bro. and I guess we'll find out on December 6th when it drops. Wow. For any future Disney related crossovers, though, I wouldn't get your hopes about characters Bro. like mickey mouse entering the shop epic soon. games is collaborating with everybody happen, but epic has admitted that some characters are totally off limits for modes like battle royale kind of like how lego need to have its very own family friendly mode some dizzy skins will not be able to hold guns for festival players we've known who the next artist is for a while now except the crossover is in trouble new jeans have been very anticipated yet they're currently in a massive dispute with the record label recently Ooh. sending a letter threatening to terminate their contract if it isn't resolved this could mean that new jeans doesn't even exist in time for their collab in january i don't think that's gonna happen i'm gonna be honest with you especially if you have like controversy like not controversy but like that's still like a buzz like if you're having buzz over like your contract or whatever and it's public and you know and, and you so happen to have like this fortnite collaboration coming through as well for like a new concert or whatever bro i mean bro i mean it could happen but i don't think it's gonna happen in the near future though that's gotta suck 
The biggest mystery of Chapter 6 will be the open world mode. This has been the largest thing Epic has been working on in secret, and fans really don't have an idea of what could be involved. Whether it's an RPG with quests, a survival game with hunger bars, or a mix of the two, it's a big gamble. If you buy the Chapter 6 Battle Pass, make sure you use code T5G to support <laughs> videos like this one. Hope it's provided a lot of value to man. you, Tommy. Keep it here on Top 5 Gaming. Shout out to Top 5 Gaming, man, for always coming through with the information um but yeah bro listen bro this bro epic games fortnite they are collaborating with everybody bro i told you guys that there was going to be one company bro um one gaming you know one gaming iconic company that would you know come through and just collaborate with like a bunch of different you know artists and um you know and other entertainment companies and stuff like that bro it would be epic games bro they bro they're legit making moves they've been making moves since what 2018 bro um, they've had the biggest of the biggest, you know, celebrities and, uh, athletes, whatever, play their game. And it's been absolutely, uh, ridiculous, bro. We had like the Fortnite world cup. We had, uh, the Travis Scott event. We had the whole, like the Fortnite shutting down. Um, oh my God, bro. I still remember the night where Fortnite, like the, where the, like the whole world got sucked up into like a port or whatever. And the screen was black. Oh, when I tell you, I went on, like, I went on like. Uh, was it Instagram, whatever? Everybody was like, yo, like, what's going on? People would try to, like, load up, load up the game, whatever. It was still, like, in, like, a portal. Like, you know, it was because the, the screen was all black. I'm a big, bro, people were panicking. I'm like, yo, what is going on right now? Like, bro, you know what? I should probably, like, I kind of want to, like, uh, film my, like, my reaction to, like, a compilation of, like, YouTubers or streamers, like, uh, to, like, the Fortnite, you know, uh, vacuum portal, just vacuum everything up. It just like just being black, like it, bro. Oh my good! I think I um, who did I watch? I think I was watching. Oh, I was watching Ali A's live stream to um to like everything being sucked up into the portal, and I remember all the kids was just confused, bro. I was I'm like, bro, what's going on? Like, bro, this is crazy. Like, what happened? So at the end of the day, man, calm down, flow. What do you guys think is next for Fortnite, man? They, bro, listen, they have so much coming up, so many updates, so many. Uh, concerts, so many collaborations coming up, uh, bro. We got cars coming through, bro. I, listen, we all know, man. Well, I don't know if you guys know, but man, grew up a big Lightning McQueen fan, bro. Oh man, man, bro, we really got this coming through. And then we got this. Um, I, I don't know who. Um, I don't know who. Uh, new jeans are. Maybe they're just like like a band or whatever. But um, turns out, you know, they're having some legal trouble, you know, with their contracts and stuff like that. So. Yeah, like I said before, I, I don't think they will, they're they going to have, like, their concert in, like, the near future. But at the same time, they might make it happen. I, I still think that Fortnite will still, like, you know, do something with it. But I don't think they're going to do the concert in like the, in, like, the near future, you know. But other than that, man, really excited for all the updates. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about any of the updates or any of the changes or future collaborations that Fortnite got in tune uh, coming through later um, this year and next year? Other than that, man, I will see you guys later. Thanks, Mount. And...